Um, Zen versus Vatira, the first match of the day. Please start it already. That's a great idea. Let's just start the match when Vatira's not here. Phenomenal idea. I wonder if Zen can beat the open net. What do you reckon? Oh, he's back. Right. I've told them to go. I've told them good luck. And they're both in. Let's do it. Zen versus Vatira. It's six months on from their first match against each other. Zen took it in game seven when they did play against each other. That was part of Zen's famous win streak. Their only other competitive game they've played since then was a one-game win on LAN, actually, for Vitira. So their four-game wins, four-game losses against each other in 1v1 competition. Now we're going to decide who will have the advantage in the head-to-head, -head, and it's Zen who opens the scoring inside the first 10 seconds. Group A currently has a four-way tie for first place when it comes to series scores. This is a massive game for current implications as well as historical implications. Zen and Vatira, of course, have a very active rivalry when it comes to Rocket League competition, mostly in 3v3. The player with the most recent win in their competitive head-to-head -head, when we could consider all game modes is Vatira. Vatira got the win at Paris Games Week, he got the win in the Flip and Spin event, which I also had the uh, honor of streaming for you guys who were tuning in. So when it comes to their history against each other, oh my word, how has Zed managed to recover this one? That's <laughs> honestly absurd. He had no boost and he had no right getting a clear on that one, but he somehow intercepted it. Completely catching Vatira by surprise. Yeah, I think that we're just in the very beginning of the rivalry between these two. Vatira seems to use Zen's dominance in 3v3, use Zen's dominance in 1v1 when he made that winning streak to kind of inspire him to do greater and bigger things in his own Rocket League career. Yeah, I, I love to see it personally. I've always loved the competitive fire uh, that Batira has. I think he you know, sometimes annoys some people with his what people call his ego, but I, I, I love it. I think it's incredibly entertaining for a player to be as confident as he is and for a player to be as open and honest about his um, achievements and about his desire to succeed. But yeah, when it comes to Zen, he's a little bit more of an introvert at the moment. We haven't had too much from him. Obviously, he's still very new to the scene. But how will he deal with the rising tide of 1v1 opponents that he currently has? We're almost two minutes into the game, still just that one goal for Zen in the opening 10 seconds. Matira's Got a bunch of pressure to work with here. That's a good boost deal, but he walks right into Zen's dunk. That should be a second goal for Zen, unless... Okay, the bounce is going to be nice to him. If that bounced straight up in the air, it would have been quite unfortunate. But it doesn't. It goes right back to Zen. Vatira gets punished for a bit of a risky angled approach to that back corner 50-50. Vatira, a much more well-rounded 1v1 player than the first time these two played. First Zen from the get-go seemed to... Have it all when it came to 1v1. You don't produce a win streak the likes of which he did without having a full package of 1v1 strats and plays. Oh, Zen didn't get a recovery here. Vatira on the breakaway. He's got a tiny bit of boost to play with. Tries to shoot top bins and he snipes it. A rare miss from Zen in offense. Gives Vatira the counter attack. Vatira gets on the board with his first goal of the game. So impressed recently with Vatira's seemingly mechanical improvement. He's obviously a very mechanical player, but I think everybody would probably agree that Zen has been the most mechanical player in the latter half of 2023. But every time I see Vatira play, it just looks like he's getting better and better. And he doesn't seem like he's relying on the same aggression in defense that he did when he first started playing 1v1. Now he's, like I said, a lot more well-rounded, a lot less predictable when it comes to 1v1. And yesterday, I know Vatira was streaming his matches. So can you guys type one in chat if he's streaming his uh, matches today? There's uh, a couple of streams, I believe, that are... I think Moxie streaming his matches. You guys are saying one, so Vatira also streaming his matches, I think. Atomic uh, as well, streaming his matches. Awesome to see all the players streaming their own 1v1 runs in Salt Mine 3. Vatira's trying to box Zen out of play here. He's got to be careful. He's almost own goal, and now he's demoed. And the ball will go in off Vatira's last touch. Vatira is trying to take this one towards his back corner, but he ended up putting it into the danger area 
Yeah, he's waiting a bit long there. Just waited and waited for the ball to come to him, and it didn't get there quickly enough. Zen able to close the distance and demo him from behind. Very low scoring and very calculated game won by both players. Zen's been playing a very solid style with the ground game so far in this group stage. Oh, he's flown straight past the ball there, though. Will he be back? He will. I think, yes, he will. Nice save by Zen as he batters the ball off the inside of the post. Matira knows he's got a big boost advantage here. Into the air he goes with a flip reset. Top shelf, far down and in. Absolutely beautiful conversion from Matira. Wasted absolutely no time in getting that air dribble going with the knowledge that Zen still had very little boost at his disposal. Matira trying to tie the game now with a kickoff, and he does! It's Matira with a kickoff goal. And we are all tied up. Zen got really side onto that ball. Matira goal side. And if you're going to go side onto the ball, you best hope that your opponent is flipping to cover the other side of the ball. Now Zen with a flip reset, trying to get the lead back. He hits it right into Matira, though, who lands well outside of his goal. That's another open net for Vati, and it's a lead for Matira. Zen counter-attacked twice in game one after failed aerial plays with no recoveries planned. This is interesting to see. The guy who usually has the ball in a string usually has full control with his aerial game. Looking a little bit out of sorts in the opening game. Matira with the boost steal. Zen still has plenty. Goes for the ground play. Matira's flipped away, Zen has time, air dribble bump, oh what a save by Matira, how on earth did he get out of the way of Zen on that play? Zen gonna continue to force the issue though, Matira secures mid boost, gets back to keep the ball in a safe location, this is brilliant play by Matira, he's giving Zen no free looks at the goal, and even that touch is gonna waste a lot of time, that's masterful from Matira. Zen has absolutely no boost to play with, Matira has done a fantastic job denying Zen, Three touches, three possessions, but now here's one. Oh, it doesn't bounce for Zen, though. He tried to get it towards the back corner, but it bounces right after the clock hits zero. And that gives Matira game one. He is fully locked in now in Group A. And it really felt like it was coming there. You can see on the next ranked post-game stats, Matira dominating in all the categories at the bottom of the screen. Not dominating too much, but definitely a very strong advantage. Remember, you can still sign up for the nextrank.com to get a 15% discount. Uh, when the course brought to you by myself and apparently Jack releases later this year. And you can also get exclusive access to unlisted YouTube videos by uh, signing up for free as you'll be automatically added to the next rank email list where those unlisted YouTube videos are sent to. You can use the exclamation mark TNR um, command in Twitch chat or you can scroll down in the YouTube description if you want to find a link uh, to the nextrank.com. Okay, we've got a couple of results to report to you guys. Nas 1-0 over Naipo. Naipo's still struggling in Group A. Uh, looks like this time he does have an Ethernet cable to play with, though, so he's at least competitive in that matchup. Uh, TRK 1-0 over Moxie. That's massive for TRK, as he looks to keep the, uh, uh, the chance of finishing number one in Group B, um, at least finishing top two in Group B under his control. And the regain for Atomic 1-0 over Toxic. Toxic started off 6-0 against the two top seeds in the group. And now he's on a four-game loss streak against the two lower seeds in the group. Uh, yeah, not, not the expected run for Toxic here, but well done to Atomic on getting his first lead in a series so far in Saltmine 3 main event. Just like game one, Zen up 1-0. Yeah, I know a couple people have been asking about how to get access to the other TNR um, episodes. Uh, we're going to get that for you guys right now. Our editor is not... Um, he, well, let's just say he's out of office. I know we all work online, but yeah, for lack of a better term, <laughs> our editor is not available. We need to get um, get our editor to add those to the YouTube descriptions of the previous episodes. So you guys who signed up later do have access to those. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous touch here by Matira, who is I'm here with a, a real plan of controlling the series today. That was decisive. And it looks like Vatira has got the upper hand so far in the matchup against his number one rival, his friend Zen. Uh, if you were to ask Vatira, are you more friends or rivals? What do you think you would say? Double reset now for Vatira. Decides not to follow up too aggressively. 
Uh, he's continuing to blast shot shots at the net. That last one may be a bit speculative, and Zen has a tiny bit of boost to counter-attack with. Nice challenge there by Vatira. Waited for Zen to start falling down, but Zen's going to find a way through. Both players are really putting a ton of pressure on each other's goalkeeping. That's a phenomenal first touch by Zen to threaten multiple angles. He didn't fully commit to the right or the left side of the goal with that first touch that denied Vatira the early follow-up challenge. And Zen looking to go up 3-1. Has he got it? Yes, he has. That was close, but it goes into the bottom corner. Zen starting to improve in the matchup little by little. Although we saw this kind of scoreline in the last game as well. In fact, we might have seen this exact scoreline in the last game. Boost advantage for Zen. Possession for Vatira. Zen's going to wrestle that back off of him. And now shoot from distance. Great call there by Zen. He knew Vatira had low boost. How low? Well, that was up to him to guess. But when Vatira is that close to the ball, a shot from this kind of range is either going to be a goal or a touch that most likely enables Zen to seal the boost and continue to pressure. It's a very safe decision. Great shot selection there by Zed. Matira. No fear with his attack. Even if he's running out of boost, he's still confident that he can outplay Zen. Zen quickly running away from any potential demo here. He's got a big boost advantage. This time Matira doesn't dive too aggressively into the back corner. Zen again off the side wall. Vatira's pre-jump. Perfectly matches him and outplays him. Wow, what a read by Vatira. Dispossesses Zen mid-air. And scores his second goal of the game. Zen's aerial play looking strangely readable today, at least for Vatira. He is making it very difficult for Zen to find success in the air. That's usually Zen's strongest part of his offense. Today, it's been the ground game. It's been the close quarters plays that have really given Zen goals. Not so much the dominant aerial display. Once again, Vatira just immediately shuts him down. I mean, look at this. Two goals in a row where Vatira hard reads Zen's first touch and immediately challenges him. And that is a ridiculous read. But Zen is going to need to think really, really carefully about continuing these aerial attacks because Vatira is in his head right now. He's not just shutting them down, but he's getting goals immediately after the fact. We do have a couple more results coming in here. Was for Was 1-0 over Khaled. And it looks like uh, Drally's 1-0 ahead of Oski. Oh, what a pre-flip by Vatira. Finding so much success in the midfield. Oh, what a goal. Vatira's just on fire. That's absolutely ridiculous. Vatira hits a ceiling double tap from Zane's back corner. <laughs> Who even does that in 1v1? After shutting down multiple Zen aerial plays, Matira hits goal of the series so far. Zen's got his work cut out for him right now. Matira's on his A game defensively, he's on his A game offensively, and he might be about to take a lead here. Zen dives back and just shuts the door on it. And the creativity and the mind games are definitely in Vatira's favor right now. That's a good read though by Zen. He almost scores with an interception. Vatira's got a little bit of boost here though, so Zen will be, I think, wise to back off and respect it. He left the back corner boost though. Zen trying to up the pace of the game, it would seem. He's done playing this chess match with Vatira. A burst of speed and another one by Zen. Switch of pace. This is something Zen does very well. Unpredictability of his challenges, part of his defensive game. Vatira completely fakes him out there though. Zen. About to lose his back corner boost. No, actually, Vatira prioritizes ball control. I don't mind that. And into the air he goes. Can Zen shut Vatira down? Well, not really. He stopped the attack, but compare, compare that to the success Vatira had with defending against Zen's aerial assaults. When Zen attacks in the air, Vatira stops it and scores. When Vatira attacked in the air right there, Zen stopped it, but Vatira still has control of the following play. Zen's having to wrestle back possession. On the ground, Vatira is not done here. Low pop just goes in. A misread by Zen gives Vatira the lead. And after scoring one of the most spectacular goals you're going to see all day, 
But Sierra scores one of the most simple goals you're going to score all day. He was threatening a bump there, but didn't really uh, commit all in for it. Zen expected the ball to hit the crossbar. And it did not. And Sierra with a big bump. Follow-up shot goes off the bar. That was almost 6-4. And into the air goes Zen. Vatira fake jumps. Zen comes back down to the ground with a lot of respect for Vatira's aerial defense. And here comes Zen at the near post. He's trying to mind game Vatira here. Oh, what a save. You cannot mind game this guy. He's inside your head. It's Vatira up by two. Vatira winning the battle at both ends. Completely outplaying Zen in offense and completely nullifying. Zen's attack, no matter what angle Zen comes from, Vatira, he seems to know about it. He seems to spot it way before Zen commits. Will it be three goal difference? No, it won't. In fact, Vatira's all in. That's going to be a goal for Zen. And what a big goal that is, because he has really struggled to create anything in offense today. Vatira gives away the ball. A bit of an unnecessary, risky play. Vatira completely dominating the boost battle in the second game here. He's had Zen backed up into a corner in both games so far. For the majority of them, and he completely reads Zen's dribble again. It's going to be seven for Vatira. Zen can't spot the challenges. He's got no idea when Vatira is challenging him. He's got no idea when Vatira is backing off. It really is Vatira's series right now. And it looks like he's going to be able to secure it unless Zen can score right here right now with this air dribble dunk and of course he can't the Vatira is too strong he's going to even save the follow-up shot jumping off the inside of his post and he's not done Vatira wants an eighth goal just because he can and you know he can oh my goodness <laughs> Vatira keeps the ball up with zero seconds and it's a flip reset double tap on Zen <laughs> from a ridiculously tight angle. Zen might be in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. I've never seen anybody do this to him with this particular play style. I mean, we've seen Moxie hand some tough losses to Zen with wave dash recovery kickoffs, flicks, low 50-50s, relentless aggression on the ground. But this is a very, very different style from Vatira. He is just reading Zen's mind. He's, he, you know, he's letting Zen touch the ball. He's letting Zen get chances to attack him. And then he just shuts him down in a way that I've never really seen anybody do. We've seen Rawas, of course, stop Zen's attack, but that's more of a defensive goalkeeping idea. No, Vatira is attacking Zen's attack. He's intercepting Zen's attacks and really uh, doing it in a way that I've never seen anybody do before. 2-0, Vatira. We've also got another 2-0, Drali over Oski. Oski continuing to struggle um, in Group A. And 2-0, Atomic over Toxic. Toxic. He's completely turned for the worst there in Group B. Uh, now suffering multiple losses in a row against players that he should be beating, given the fact that he just swept Moxie and Rawas yesterday. Um, and yeah, TRK Moxie 1-1, that is expected to be close. Now Poe versus Nas 1-1, that is uh, also expected to be close. So no surprises there. But we thought this one would be close as well. Zen versus Vatira was supposed to go the distance in the minds of most. If it's going to go the distance, Zen will need to produce some phenomenal plays. As Vatira's brought his A-game today. And he's going to continue bringing his A-game. In game three, Vatira opens his scoring. After bumping Zen out of position. And playing for a perfect first touch. I mean, this is just unbelievable from Vati. What a player he is. Challenging Zen's dominance in every way that he can. That's a good outplay by Zen though. He's got some alone time with the open net. Vatira's darting quickly down the middle of the field. He is going to be back, but he can't cover Zen's shot. Well struck on the volley from Zen. Vatira was in the area. He had too many options to cover there. It was in fact savable, but that was a great shot by Zen nonetheless. Uh, Vatira with a chance to get back into the lead. That's a nice challenge by Zen, though. Sending Vatira back to his defensive corner. 
And here comes Fatira from that corner. Direct air dribble blocked by Zen. Nice recovery by Zen as well. His boost is going to be stolen though. Fatira continues to pressure him. I think it's, you know, these pressure plays that have really done well for Matira. He's so good at just getting up and close and personal with his opponent. It's a nice save by Zen, but Matira is darting across the box and sealing all of his boosts away. Perfect control with the air dribble. Zen unable to challenge with his current boost situation, but he can make a save. Matira's all in. Then scores to make it 2-1. Composure from Zen is key in moments like this. Vatira is not going to let his foot off the accelerator. He's going to keep on pressing. Relentless is how I would describe his style in 1v1. Does Zen have the answer? Does he have other options at his disposal? I think he does. He's got a big problem on this plate. Vatira's bumped him. It's 2-2. Absolutely phenomenal switch up by Vatira. Think about what did Zen do on the last play? He played reactively. He played to make a save after Vatira's flip reset play. What do you do against reactive defenders? Air dribble bump. Immediate punish by Vatira there. He's looking for more. Not able to get it though. Great read by Zen. Oh, what a bump by Vati. No way. Has he scored from this? That's ridiculous. He has no right to be scoring from this kind of position. He's just been crushed in the challenge. But then he makes the most of what little boost he did have to clap Zen away from the ball. That was a really disadvantaged position for Matera. But he, again, not only is he shutting down Zen's threats, he's scoring while doing so. Matera pit maneuver Zen. Oh, he got him off the back corner boost steal. Nothing going right for Zen here, and he's been bumped again. Matira makes it 4 2. That is ridiculous. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. I've actually just got news. Apparently, uh, Atomic is keeping the ball in the air. Has Atomic beaten Toxic? Sorry to uh, change the topic here. Is Atomic 3 0 Toxic? Just in other news. As Matira is continuing to dismantle Zen. What on earth is going on with Toxic's tournament? How do you sweep for Was and Moxie and then get swept by Kaladin and Atomic? What's happening? Uh, apparently, uh, the reason I bring this up, I think, uh, yeah, I think Atomic's now just dribbling the ball around on zero seconds after winning that third game. Toxic's left the lobby and Atomic's just playing ball carry simulator. He might be going for the world record there. Um, so, yeah, interesting, very interesting scenes going on over there. Um, between Toxic and Atomic. Matira, of course, never one to let his opponent back into the series. He is merciless once he gets an advantage whenever he senses weakness. You know, it's not that Zen's played particularly badly today. He's just been absolutely shut down, bumped around, and outplayed at every turn. He does still have time, though. And if anyone can figure it out, Zen has got to be one of the players with a chance to do so. Matira blocks another air dribble at the near post by Zen. But now Zen giving Vati a taste of his own medicine. Pops him out of the way, turns around and scores. Nicely done by Zen. He's not out yet. You can never, never count this guy out. He's come from behind before to win multiple times. He was four seconds away from being swept by Jorias in one of his first ever 1v1 series he played, equalized, and then won the series with a reverse sweep. And now he's hitting Vatira with all of his own plays. Vatira's bumped Zen, he's air dribble bumped him, and now Zen has done the same. One goal difference, Zen starting to get into the swing of things. Vatira decides to let the ball Finds something around there. Shoots first time. Looking to catch Zen out of position. Oh, Vatira's missed the open net. Oh my goodness. He had all the time in the world, but he sniped the crossbar. That was just wide open. There was nothing Zen could do. Zen was just, he was just falling. There is no way for Zen to challenge that. Vatira's just rushed it and scored it himself.
I mean, that was such a smart play by Vatira. He knew that Zen was likely to pre-jump a bouncing ball like that in the midfield. Played for the shot instead, and it caught Zen by surprise. But Vatira's just outplayed himself. He's completely missed the open net by a mile. And now here comes Zen. He's also hit the crossbar, but the recovery is good. I mean, what a bizarre turn of events. Vatira's still in a tight game situation, but he should be ahead by two. Zen loses control in the midfield. Vatira closes the gap, and now has to say goodbye to his back corner boost. I mean, that's got to shake your confidence a bit. Zen threatening a double at the near post, threatening a bump. He catches Vatira instead of bumping him. And now he's missed a shot to the far post top corner. Vatira's got 100 boosts as Zen takes the ball back into his own half. Vatira pre jumps extremely early to dispossess Zen. Huge read again. As overall, he does still have an advantage. And he outplays Zen with a demo. Zen trying to defend his back corner boost. Vatira demoed him instead of trying to contest the boost. Well, you know, if we forget about the fact that Vatira just outplayed himself by hitting the bar for no reason, he does still have the edge when it comes to reading his opponent. And by a fair margin, one goal advantage for Vatira. Good vision as well as he spots Zen's early challenge coming towards him. It's Vatira in control in the closing stages of the game. Air dribble on target, saved by Zen. Tiro's going to be in the area though. And relevant as he continues to pre jump, Zen's air dribble threats. Air dribble bump by Zen, it's a demo, and it's a tie game. Aggression from both players reaches a climax in game three. Zen fighting fire with fire. He might be struggling. But if he can win a game like this, a crucial game three, which has in included a massive throw by Vatira, that would be a big mental blow. Boost advantage, Vatira. Possession for Vatira. Zero second air dribble attempt with a flip reset, but it's countered well by Zen. Great block as he tries to come back and reverse sweep his biggest rival. Zen glancing over the top of the ball there to see if Vatira was delaying his kickoff. Ridiculous that he could even think of doing that. In a tense moment like this, both players playing with almost no boost to their disposal, but it's Vatira with a shot, and it's Vatira with a goal to sweep Zen in the first round of group stage matches today. He just knew that Zen didn't have a lot of boost to play with, and he knew that if he hit that shot well, there was never going to be a save. Vatira 3 0. That is going to skyrocket him to the top of the table. And it's going to put Zen in real trouble. Because not only has Zen lost for the second time in Group A, he's got Naupo in his final match of the day. And that might be a match to decide who makes playoffs. Of course, it's all depending on what's happening elsewhere. But Drally's on three wins. If Naupo could beat Nas, then I think it was going to be two wins for Nas, Zen and Naupo. And Zen versus Naupo will be for playoffs, most likely. Absolutely unreal. What a performance by Vatira. Let's take a look at the Chalkcast post-series highlights. The Chalkcast, the official podcast of Saltmine 3. Shout out to my co-hosts Rizzo and CJ. And all of the Chalkcast patrons and viewers for making uh, this sponsorship possible. They did help uh, make this event a reality. Um, and yeah, we should have a live episode of the Chalkcast coming up later this week where we're going to be interviewing um, and talking to the Chalkcast viewers themselves with live viewer call-ins. We've never done it before. We're looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, check, uh, follow the Chalkcast on Twitter. You can use an exclamation mark Chalked in Twitch chat right now or look in the YouTube description to join the Discord, join the community um, and get involved in the conversation. What a performance from Vatira. Just dominated Zen, kept him pinned back, had boost control, he had most of the possession. I mean, no one's really read Zen as well as Vatira just did for a whole series. He was just inside Zen's head, shutting down Zen's aerial plays and getting multiple outplays in offense. For, you know, forcing Zen into a physical battle that was then also still uh, won by Vatira. He's just such a good player at these awkward little situations where nobody has boost.